Good evening, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I am going to make a video. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't. I don't really feel that well. But I want to. I've been saying I'm going to make a video about the Friends of the Library used book sale, which it, well, I think it was. Oh, well, I can't remember when it was. A couple weeks ago, maybe. I can't remember, but anyway, today is August the 24th, 2021. It is a Tuesday night here in West Michigan. <clears throat> it's 8.15 in the, at night. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the books because these are kind of books that I just found, you know, I just was wandering around and I looked at certain things and I just grabbed them and because uh Friday was I can't remember it must have been almost a week ago not this Friday but Friday before last the book sale ended last Monday today is a Tuesday so it's been almost a week almost two weeks ago anyway I'm just going to show you the books that I grabbed. <clears throat> now, now first I'm going to show you when they were setting up the book sale, the used book sale, the Friends of the Library used book sale, it was the first Monday. Monday was the setup, Tuesday was the setup, and then Wednesday was the first day of the sale. And they was opened up to just the Friends of the Library members. But on Monday when they were setting up, and Carol, my wife, was there helping, Mary, who runs the book nook, who runs the, the whole program, there was a box of books that were just about books about books. And she said to my wife, doesn't Johnny like these kinds of books? And my wife said, yeah. So um, when Carol came home, she told me that Mary put that book box of books aside for me to go through and take what I wanted. So I'm just going to show those. This is not really officially Friends of the Library, but they were going to be sold at the Friends of the Library used book sale, but I got them because Mary, who runs the book nook and runs the whole program, knew that I collect books like this. So the first one was this one was Confessions of a Literary Archaeologist by Clareton Lake. This is by New Directions. This is uh, set in post-World War II Paris, but looking back to the beginning of the modernist movement, Confessions of a Literary Archaeologist is the adventurous tale of Carton Lake's lifelong treasure hunt in building what had been called unquestionably the finest collection of research materials on modern French literature and arts anywhere outside of Paris. So that really... I grabbed that. And then this book, book for book collectors, the eighth edition by John Carter and Nicholas Barker. This first came out, oh, several years ago. First came out in 1952. So this is the eighth edition. It's just all about book collecting. The whole terminology about book collecting. And then this book uh, by Frank Herman, Low Profile, Low Profile, A Life in the World of Books. Uh, this is during a lifelong career in publishing, Frank Herman, Herman had the good fortune to work for firms who published T.S. Eliot, Edwin Wan, uh, Petrix, Beatrix Potter, Mrs. Beaton, host of other famous figures in the writing world. He took to writing himself after publishing a history of art collecting in England was to compile the history of Salfabee's auction house. Subsequently, he became first an advisor and later director of the firm's overseas pop, pop operations. Uh, so he was involved in book, auction, book auctions. New World uh, in Old Books, 
I just can't go into all these, but I'm just going to show them. This is by Leona Rosenberg and Madeline B. Stern, New Worlds in Old Books. Then the book about books and anatomy of book bibliomania by Halbrecht Jackson. So those were the books on books. I think there was one more. Well, these are other books that I found in the Friends of Library used book sale that goes along with this books on books. Stolen words, forays into origins and ravages of plagiarism by Thomas. Milan. Let me see what else is. I think that was it on books. Yeah. I also found a new uh, copy of Hal by Allen Ginsberg. It was 50 cents. I, mine's really beat up and old. Then I found at the Friends of the Library used book sale Leo Toystoy, Toystoy uh, Sebastopol, which took place in the Crimean War. He was a soldier. He had the bombardment of Sebastopol. It's like a an account of what he saw. It's very famous. May 1855. It's just about... And then I... Toy Story's Diaries, edited and translated by R.F. Kristen. You know I'm into diaries and memoirs and letters, so this is Toy Story's Diaries. This is an edited. The original one I think was multi-volume. It was just, but this is an edited. Then there was William Butler Keats' Memoirs, the origin, the original, previously unpublished text of memoirs in the journal, edited by Denise. Donahue, William Butler Heat's Memoirs. Uh, what else here? A biography on John Donne, Reformed Soul by John Stubbs. I like to find John Donne's works, <laughs> his complete works. And then I found this biography on the life of Abigail Adams, Dearest Friends by Lynn Whitley. As you know, this goes into my A Adams collection, John Adams and Abigail Adams collection. This is a little book on Samuel, Samuel Beckett. It's just a little biography. I like it because all the old photos in it, it has all these photos in here and also him directing his plays. There's a younger picture of Samuel Beckett and see there's a picture of him. Uh, there's a picture in here of Samuel Beckett with oh I can't find it now but anyway a um, little biography. And then Pushkin his Novel in uh, verse, Eugene Origin Pushkin. I also got a biography on him, Pushkin. A biography by David M Magan Shack. And then I got the Saturday Review Gallery. I think I showed this before, but these are uh, essays and poetry taken from the Saturday Review from over the, uh, three decades. This was first published in 1957, so it covers from, I don't know, probably the early 20s up until the 50s. The Age of Comfort, When Paris Discovered Casual and the Modern Home Began by Joan DeGene. I had another book of hers. Right here, this is another book to her. How Paris Became Paris 
and I found this book by her, The Age of Comfort, When Paris Discovered Casual and the Modern Home Began. And then I, and then I found, I think this fell. <laughs> then I found This book, Nonviolence, The History of a Dangerous Idea by Mark Kurlinski. Cruel, The Art of Cruelty and Reckoning. This is on cruelty in literature. It's like a literary studies by Maggie Nelson. A notable book, New York Book, New York Times Book Review of the Year. Maggie Nelson, she writes novels, and she, I have a, a novel of hers in our library. This is stories of Henry James, The Jolly Corner, and other tales by Henry James. The Hudson Valley Reader, writings from the 17th century to the present, edited and introduced by Bonnie Marengo, Marenka just writings of people who lived in the Hudson Valley there in New York and just different things. I don't know, I like reading the Hudson Bill, the Hudson Valley painters and it's just a famous American landscape, Hudson Valley reader. This is Size of Thoughts by Nick, Nick, Nicholson, Nicholson Baker. I collect his books. These are essays by him. I collect his writings. I have a, over there a whole row of his books. This is a history of Palestine from 634 to 1099 by Moshe Gill. This is translated out of Hebrew by Ethel Bruno, Brudo. This is a a History on the Middle Sea, the History of Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean, is it Sea? Yeah, by John Julius Norwick. Servants of Satan, the Age of Witch Hunts by Joseph Kletz. I collect books on witches and witchcraft and witch hunts. Just kind of thing I just interested in. And then we have the Grove Book of Art Writing, brilliant writing on art from Pithany the Elder to Damien Hirst. It's just all these writings on on uh, on art writing, you know, essays, and it just looked really interesting. So I got to pick that up. The Grove Book of Art Writing. And then finally, I picked up this book by Michael Corda. I collect his writings. Uh, I have a couple of his other writings. He's written biographies on Eisenhower. But he's written all kinds of books. This is Michael Kirda, The Country Matters, The Pleasures and Tribulations of Moving from a Big City to an Old Country Farmhouse. So these are the books I got. I think I paid $20 for all these books. The Grove Book of Art Writing, Servants of Satan, The Age of Wit Hunt, Witch Hunts, History of the Mediterranean, The Middle Sea, History of Palestine from 634 to 1099, and then essays by Nicholas Bark Baker, Size of Thoughts, Hudson Valley Reader, The Art of Cruelty, A Reckoning of Cruelty in Literature. It says here in the back, this is criticism at its best. Uh, it just goes into cruelty and the art of cruelty and how it's used in literature. Nonviolence, A History of a Dangerous Idea by Mark Kurlinski. 
biography on Pushkin, The Age of Comfort, it's like Paris discovered the casual and modern home began. And uh, the Satter Review Gallery, biography on Abigail Adams, Dearest Friend, biography on John Donne, the poet and preacher, reformed soul by John Stubbs, memoirs of William Butler Yeats, Hal by Allen Ginsberg, stories by Henry James, Pushkin, his Novel and verse, Eugene Orgen, Organ, Orgen, Ogen. Little biography of Samuel Beckett, playwright, Toy Story's Diaries, Leo Toy Story's Sebastopol, about the bombing there during the Korean, Crimean War, Stolen Words on plagi Plagialism by Thomas Milan book about books, Anatomy of Bibliomania by Hallberg Jackson, new books and old books, The Low Profile Life in the World of Books, Frank Herman, The Book for Book Collectors by John Carter and Nicholas Barker. And then Confessions of a Literary Archaeologist. So that's my uh, Friends of the Library used book haul. Now I've gotten a lot of other books since I, I've been volunteering at the book nook. I've been getting other books, but I'll show those in future videos. I just want to show you these so I can put these all away. I don't like them stacking up here. All these books have places to go. It's they don't, they're not going on the floor, they're going on shelves, they're going in areas, and I just want to put them away and get them off my mind. As far as what I'm reading today, I don't know. I've been reading this book I got in the mail, Christian Asceticism by Anson Stolch. I've been reading this the last couple of days, since I got yesterday. So I hope you're having a good week. I mean, I, I have a good day. I have my bad days. I feel sick. Sometimes I feel better. The Lord gives grace. Yeah, and uh, that's about it. Uh, nothing else. I got books coming in the mail. I ordered New York Review books. I told you about the birthday book haul. Books I bought for my birthday. I'll show those in a future video. So thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers to know that you're in my thoughts and prayers. And I don't know what else to say except thank you for your comments and your prayers. And do pray you're all doing well during this COVID upsurge. And I don't know. Wear your mask. I mean, I don't really go anywhere except the book nook. I stopped going to thrift stores. I just go to the book nook. I don't even go to the store with my mu with my wife, and I just uh, stay home and I read and I write and I pray and I read and I write and I pray and try to stay safe. So until next time, bye.